Okay, welcome to another topic in finance which is called sunk cost. It's another important understanding for decision making in your day to day financial decisions. So, let me talk about this sunk cost and how to identify that with an example. So, in many a times, right, you when you start something, let's say your own business, you spend money in developing facilities, right? You pay money to open a company, you trademark certain things, you get a copyright on your intellectual property or your work, and then you start your business, right? Now, let's say you have done all this company has incorporated the facilities are being bought up everything is brought up and then you are trying to sell your product okay so at this point in time let's say at time equal to 20 right so after 20 days of starting everything when the time was let's say zero you took 20 days and you have you know incurred some cost and at t equal to 20 you are starting to launch a product now if i am sitting at this point right here so let me mark this point if i am sitting at this point all the cost that has been incurred in the past right before t equal to 20 so at this point i will say that this cost is a sunk cost okay so now let's get into a real example the real definition of sunk cost it's a cost that has already been incurred which has already happened okay and it cannot be recovered okay it has happened in the past right and it is different it is different than the future cost that you will incur now right for example to manufacture this product so you need to put let's say some R&D some manufacturing salaries some people now at this point you will spend some cost and I'm differentiating this cost which will happen after t equal to 20 days as a future cost and something which has already happened in the system right all the cost before this point right I'm calling it as some cost which has already been incurred and now it cannot be recovered so when I say it cannot be recovered in other words I mean to say that this has happened okay of course I can earn profit to cover up this cost but in other words if I do not work forward or whether this cost I cannot recover by taking any of the decision whether to go forward or not go forward so it's a very important point that the sunk cost needs to be identified and they should not be part of any decision they should not be part of any further decision this is an important point and let me take an example now that you understand the basics of opportunity cost Okay, now that you understand the basics of sunk cost, so let's take an example. I'm taking an example of a Boeing company which manufactures planes, right? 
I hope you must have heard of this company which manufacture planes. Now this company, Boeing, now there are two guys who were fighting in the company and one was CEO and another guy was financially more intelligent called CFO. Now these guys were fighting over something and the fight was over whether to manufacture next plane right whether to go ahead and manufacture next plane and sell it or not sell it and stop the business okay so once again CEO was saying we should go ahead and manufacture our plane the next plane in the system right and CFO says let's stop the operations okay and the question is why they were fighting what was the problem the problem was twofold CEO says that they have spent two billion dollars right two billion dollars in setting up manufacturing facility for planes so this is the complete facility many many acres big 20 billion dollars have been spent and this was spent just to manufacture planes okay and he's saying we have already spent so much money we should go ahead and manufacture planes CFO says by the way you should know that right now the demand of planes is quite low which means that I can sell one plane let's say at 200 million dollar I can price my plane at 200 million dollar but the cost of manufacturing this plane right is 250 million dollars so that's my cost now this is the cost of you know the aluminium the material that is used to develop planes the cost of putting electrical wiring all the variable cost when I say variable as I increase the number of planes produced the cost also increases so let's say this is cost of material used in the plane okay now CFO says because the price of the plane is less than the cost of the plane the variable cost of the material of the plane we should not manufacture any plane and stop manufacturing okay the CEO says I have spent two billion dollars in developing this facility I must go ahead and develop planes I cannot stop here okay I am sitting at T equal to let's say zero that's my current state so let me point out and I say in this whole thing you are here right when the facility has been built two billion dollars have been spent and now you are thinking whether to go ahead and manufacture my plane okay very very confusing situation you are here now you tell me who is right will you be a future CEO like him or will you be a future CFO like him who do you prefer any idea who do you prefer okay so once again we need to identify what is sunk cost in the system right versus what is the future or incremental cost for my decision making always remember I must consider future cost I cannot consider sunk cost okay because it has already happened so no matter how much you have spent here two billion dollars eight hundred billion dollars I do not care because I call all of that as my sunk cost and since the incremental cost or in other words the future cost is greater than the future benefit okay the cost is more than the benefit you should not go ahead 
and take this decision which means that you should not be producing planes and stop operations in this facility independent of how much effort has gone into building that facility you cannot digest this you don't like this you feel bad about it okay let's say what happens if you actually go ahead and produce planes so for every plane that you produce right when you sell that plane your cash inflow is dollar 200 million are you with me so that's what we said that's the can you see the price of the plane when you sell it so this is the price now I'm saying that you get 200 million but for every plane you produce you spend on the electrical wiring the cost the variable cost you have to show do a cash outflow of dollar to 50 million so I make it negative what it means is that if you sell first plane you make a loss of 50 million and if you sell the second plane you make a loss of 100 million right 50 into 50 so two planes when they are sold you make a loss of minus 100 million dollars so even if you say that I have spent two billion dollars two billion is a big number right but if you start doing your operations one and two just by selling two you have increased your losses right from two billion to dollar two billion plus hundred million so this will be your now new loss which means that never make your decision based on the sunk cost this anyway cannot be recovered that's gone right you only look at the future cost okay which is right here and you look at future benefit I'm putting it in green color everyone likes cash coming in so future benefit that's like the price at which it will be sold so only when a future benefit okay the future benefit is greater than future cost you should continue with your operation you should continue taking that decision of manufacturing planes and otherwise you should stop okay you should not look at some cost in your decision making let me close it by saying that if the price of the aeroplane is 200 million dollars right and the cost you find out is dollar 195 million should you go ahead yes because the future cost is less than future price but one might say that oh just for five million dollars should I continue right because the if I look at the future price and future cost I get five million dollar but by the way the total cost should be two billion right this is my sunk cost fixed cost that I have spent now I'm just gaining five million per aeroplane you might think it's too low to continue but the answer is since you are at least getting something right there is some incremental profit you should continue even though it is quite less than the total sunk cost the total fixed cost that you have already spent okay so with that we close our topic on sunk cost and let me go over it again and this time with a little music in the background okay so here was our example of the sunk cost so what I said was sunk cost is something that has already happened that has already incurred right and when you are sitting at time a particular time anything which has happened in the past is sunk cost the example was we took was a Boeing which is has spent a lot of money in developing facilities 
$2 billion and trying to think about whether to go ahead and manufacture its planes or not. Now CEO says we have spent so much money we should definitely always manufacture plane. CFO quite intelligent he says sir the future benefit is 200 million for selling a plane and the future cost is still 250 million for manufacturing a plane I see a loss of 50 million dollars right as I sell my each plane so first plane future benefit 200 future cost 250 so the net loss is minus 50 per plane if I sell two planes I make 50 plus 50 hundred million loss which means that forget about your two billion money to set up that loss you are increasing that loss by another number as you start selling more and more so the best case is that stop the operation so CFO was absolutely right in this case right and his decision must be taken okay and we should always understand that wherever we are sitting we should look at the future benefit okay and look at the future cost okay and if the future benefit is greater than future cost we should always go for that independent of what has happened in the past before I close let me take a more suitable example a very quick one suppose you started a degree course okay and it's a two-year degree course let me pick it as MBA and you spend two lakhs to enter into that degree course and it's about to end right you are in the last semester of the degree course sitting here and you are about to get a degree okay and you get bored right you said this is not useful right whatever I am doing right and you drop off of that degree course close to its ending now tell me was it a good decision was it a good decision when you are here sitting here very close to getting your degree your incremental benefit your future benefit okay whichever way you want to call it is your degree right and don't look at that I have already spent two lakhs I have already spent my time forget about that it's all sunk it cannot be recovered so whatever happened before that do not keep that in your mind look ahead how much cost you have to pay to continue well the future cost is just cost of spending one more semester of time you have already paid your fees by the way so one semester you just have to spend that time and study enough that you get your big degree so clearly the future benefit here supersedes your future cost right and you must continue with the course and get your degree so dropping off the course very close to its completion right thinking about that you have spent this much is not a good idea don't consider some cost only consider future benefit and future cost and compare against them to decide whether to continue or drop off so in this case you must continue right because future benefit of getting a degree right is much much higher than spending one more semester worth of studying you know the same old boring courses that you never liked so with that we got the concept of not just sunk cost but how it is used in decision making thank you